Hey everybody, it's Sarah from SlimDownWithSarah.com and I know I have been promising you a vlog and I am just not pulling through with them. All kinds of crazy things have been going on this week uh, and I just really haven't been finding the time to actually make a vlog. And I still want to make the cookie one like I just posted on my fan page, which I will do tonight. But I was like, well, maybe I should share dinner with you all since it's, I don't really know if it's that healthy, but it's got a lot of good stuff in it. Uh, I'm going to be making a chicken cheddar broccoli roll. So it's almost like a stromboli. The ingredients and the recipe that I chose is one pretty basic and hopefully the kids will like it so I didn't want too many seasonings in it. And I'm also going to choose to use the pizza crust. Uh, I just got the generic brand pizza crust, nothing special about it, instead of the biscuits or what do they want, the crescent. Uh, I just think that this will pull it together better, I guess you could say. I don't know. I just like using this rather than the rolls. They're doughy and messy and I don't, not to say that pizza crust isn't doughy but I don't know it's just easier to work with the pizza crust I think personally. So uh, the ingredients the pizza crust some type of cheddar mild uh, sharp I'm sure you could buy the Velveeta it just need you just need two cups of it basically you're gonna need uh, frozen broccoli that you could just throw in the microwave uh, you're gonna need two cups of that and light mayo and it calls uh, for fresh rosemary, but since I just overdid it with the rosemary and soup that I made last week, I need to stay away from rosemary for a hot minute. And also you could just use the chicken uh, packets, like you, know, like you could get tuna packets, uh, but I am choosing to use chicken uh, breast skinless boneless tenderloins. It's wet right now, so that's what I will be using uh, instead of the chicken chunks that are already like prepared. So I'm going to start uh, going to cook the chicken and then I will be back in a little bit to show you uh, how to do it all. I also wanted to share with you that when I make anything that has to involve like cutting meat or whatever, I use my kitchen shears and it's so much easier to just like, you know, chunk this up or steak or pork chops or whatever you need. Uh, just make sure that it's a little bit frozen because if you catch a piece of fat, it'll never cut. So, just a little tip from Sarah. So now the chicken is in the pan and it's cooking. So I'm just going to microwave my broccoli and then I'll be right back again. So while I'm waiting for everything to cook, uh, I started preheating my oven at 375 and I just am using a regular baking sheet and I put foil over it and going to pop this open. Okay, let's see here. Uh, so you just like roll it out like so. And then I am going to take um, another pair of kitchen scissors and I will show you what I'm going to do. I seriously have like five pairs of kitchen shears because they're just so handy, especially with uh, kids. Uh, I mean, you could just cut hot dogs or grilled cheese or pizza. I mean, you could cut so much. So what I'm going to do is, actually, I don't know if I should cut it first. No, I don't think I'm going to cut it first. Uh, but I am going to get a bowl. I, I'm going to take the cooked uh, chicken tenderloins that I just made all nice and yummy and warm. Two cups of cheddar cheese. Oh. Half a cup of light mayo. Well, while I'm at it, I might as well just... See these? These ones are my least favorite pair. They're like for, I don't know, a left-hand person or something because they do not work very well with me. I'm just going to throw all the broccoli in here. It's so hot. Ouch. What is gone? I think I should have got a bigger bowl. Okay, so I have the cheese. 
I have the broccoli, I have the chicken, and now I need the mayo. Half of a cup. Mmm. Just kidding. Now I'm going to mix it all up to be beautiful and everything you ever wanted it to look like. If you think of it, this is no different than having like plain chicken breast. Okay, maybe not plain, but imagine if you had like a honey Dijon chicken uh, breast piece, cheddar broccoli as a side, and, and like a roll. It's pretty much like what you're gonna be eating uh, calorie wise, you know, calorie and fat wise. And now I'm pretty much going to fill the light mayo, the cheddar, the broccoli, and the chicken all in the center. And then, just because, you know, I'm a weirdo, I'm gonna try to sit here and, like, I, uh, squish it in, I guess you could say. Cause this is kind of a lot. I mean, and I, sure, I used more broccoli than I was supposed to, but I highly doubt that that was two cups of chicken. Maybe it was, I don't know, I didn't measure it. Ooh la la. How pretty is that? What am I stepping on? So now the little trick that I do, I'm actually going to want to show you this, is I take the scissors and I'm going to cut, I don't even know how many, enough so I can like uh, braid it. And you want to make sure that they're pretty much even so you're not like having issues when it comes to folding it. This just makes it so much easier. I have a feeling that this is not gonna fold very well due to how thick it is, but we'll give it a whirl. I just threw the egg yolk in the bowl that I was already using cause whatever and to just brush it with the egg yolk la 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 and then it says to sprinkle rosemary on top of it but I'm like so afraid that that's gonna be such a strong taste but I, I guess I should just gonna use a little bit Alright, so this is what it looks like before I put it in the oven. I'm going to bake it at 375 for 30 minutes and I will show you what it looks like when it's all cooked. So, yay! Okay, so it is now done. I don't even remember if I put on the timer. It's now getting so hot. Okay. <laughs> um, or what really happened, but the timer never went off, so I don't even know how long that I cooked it. I just know that I cooked it at 375, and I can show you what it turned out to look like. I already cut it up. It is a little bit messy, but as you can see, there's a nice uh, crust where the egg uh, yolk was, so it looks nice and pretty and brown, and the cheese is, like, let me see. <laughs> The cheese is kind of oozing out on the side. I mean, it looks good. It looks good. So I'll probably have a piece about like this big. I don't know if you could see. That's how wide it is. And maybe just like a half of this or like a half of a piece with filling in it. And I don't really know how many of the ca uh, calories that it's going to be in total. I will have to add it up on my fitness pal. So if I'm not on your fitness pal, you could add me. I'll put my screen name in the description below. And you could see how many calories it is, or you could even just Google it, uh, a, ch a cheddar broccoli chicken roll or whatever. But anyways, it looks delicious. I want to eat it when it's hot, and I will see you in a little bit to make those cookies. Bye.